Okay, so first, not here. First and foremost, we would like to introduce Noah Can't Do It. Woo! <laughs> Noah Can't Do It is sporting a lovely green sweater with trim in silver and Christmas balls. Wow. <laughs> Here a little bit, you can hear the tap and the tap shoes. Kicking up the glitter. Um, our first candidate for uh, Ms. Merry Christmas, former Miss Merry Christmas, Gigi! <laughs> Gigi Gaynor is wearing a lovely snowflake skirt and a beautiful stuffed chimney sweater. Ooh, hello. Our next candidate is Shayla Zon LaRue, who braved public transit to make it here for us tonight. Ooh. And Shayla Zon, as they say in French, is wearing these lovely Bambi-inspired golden antlers. <laughs> and she's got bells on her socks. It must have shrunk in the wash. <laughs> Our next candidate uh, that I know from the Dragon Youth series, Ms. Catastrophe! Woo! Ms. Catastrophe is lit tonight, wearing a Santa-themed outfit I can only read. Beautiful. Woo! And our final contestant in the Ms. Merry Christmas pageant, Connie Lingua! It is now time for the Q&A portion. I will get a great big book of questions. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the size of that book. That's the biggest book I ever saw. Can you imagine how much reading you could do out of that book? There are pictures, I'm sure. Hi. The candidates were informed that these were difficult questions. We will ask the questions in the order that the candidacy was received, so Noah will be going first. Noah, pick a number between one and seven. Seven? Could we turn the incidental music down, please? <laughs> Question number seven. So many donors the court approached for this pageant spoke of being flooded with requests or had a year-long commitment to other organizations or were challenged by financial constraints. How would you make the ISCWR a choice, a charity of choice for the community at large? Um, so the first thing is the court itself is not a charity, so if the intention was how would I make sure that um, other people want to like work with the court to support the charities that we support, I think I would say the most important thing is to honor the relationships that they already have with the people that they're supporting and see where we could fit in in those relationships and how we could use each other's strengths to create bigger relationships and let other people know what the court is about as well as supporting them. Thank you very much. It's not nice to correct the current title holder. <laughs> Just saying. A good answer. Gigi, a number between one and six. Ken. <laughs> Show us on. <laughs> number four, please. Number four. We are entering a new era where the definition of drag 
has been expanded to include so many different versions of it. Do you see this as a good thing or a challenge to the drag tradition? Whichever answer you choose, please explain why. That is a very good question. <laughs> but if you look at, let's say, RuPaul's Drag Race, where you have all these polished queens per se, you look at the community queen, the community queens, which are just as good as RuPaul queens. You've got monster drag, you have ballroom drag, you have classic drag, you have old school drag. The thing is forever evolving and changing, and for us as people, some of us may evolve and change with the times, but others may still want to stick with that classic fishy look as in female first nation. And yet times are tough, and I believe that three years ahead that we could be stuck in limbo because, for say, someone like Vanity, who is very fishy, <laughs> Sorry, girl. Yes, give her a round of applause. She spent many years of her craft as a female illusionist throughout Edmonton, Alberta, and that's been a lot of that. But now there is new things coming in, and I'm sure someone like Vanity will adapt with certain things, techniques with hair, hats, eyelashes, you know, makeup, whatever. But yeah, I, I think that we can, and I will wrap it up. I think that we can evolve and help each other and support each other no matter what should take place. Thank you very much, Joe. You're very welcome. How do you Hi. feel, Vanity? Are you okay, girl? Feel okay, girl. Yeah. Miss LaRue, Hi. pick a number one, two, three, five, or six. Three. Three. The title of Mr. or Miss Merry Christmas is considered a lower court title with limited expectations beyond supporting the court throughout the year. How would you make the title more relevant? A lot of serious. Let me just get comfortable for a second. <laughs> How would I make it more serious? More relevant. More relevant. I'm not familiar. Okay, but. <laughs> Um, I think even though it is a lower title, it's very important to still represent what the court means, which is very much a connection between all of us as LGBT allies um, and the community of Edmonton. I feel it's kind of wonderful that we all get together. The way I would make it relevant and hopefully push the title further, even though it is a lower house, is to continue building the relationships and to continue growing on what relationships are already standing. Um, and just be like really wonderful. <laughs> and pretty. And pretty, right, you're right. Thank you, no, it's gonna be amazing, I'll do my best. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll try my hardest to really build relationships and hopefully get to run a few events uh, to fundraise for the court, if that's what the title will allow me to do. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Miss Catastrophe. One, two, four, no, one, two, five, or six. Four. Four. No? Sorry. One, two, five, or six. Four. <laughs> What's your favorite date, April 15th? <laughs> John. Well, I'm going to say. Six? Oh. oh. Drag performers and transgender individuals have been at the forefront of queer rights historically and now. In your mind, does the court fit into activism? Activism. Um, so I can get the word right, that's like accepting or wanting, correct? It means the defending rights, as an example. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay, I just making sure I got that right. So, I feel like they should go more forward into like activism because I feel like everybody's everybody and nobody can say what's right or wrong if you want to. Closer, closer to oh, Sorry. I've, I've always said to people that if you feel, as long as it's a reasonable explanation, like you can't just run around saying you're Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> sorry. Um, but, I mean, other than that, whoever you want to feel whatever go ahead so I feel like the court 
would be great supporting that helping people defend their rights on how they want to live their lives because we're in the end of the day we're all the same so fuck everything about gender whatever and go forward and defend what you believe is right whether it's I guess Lindsay Lohan or whatever you want to be right it's, it's good to do that work towards that and defend everything that's right within it thank you <laughs> Whoa. Yes, girl. Connie Lingua. Buonasera. Buonasera. Bruno parlo l'italiano. Un poco bene. Buon Natale. On s'en va tu ensemble, toi et nous, on dit rien. Ferme ta gueule. Ok. One, two, or five? One, please. One. The Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose has been in existence for over 43 years. What is one idea you would pursue as a title holder to make sure the court remains fresh and relevant? Well, um, I think um, leading by example definitely is something to do, but also like borrowing ideas from other courts and organizations perhaps that have been very successful. Um, I know uh, it, we're such an image-based um, society and culture increasingly now, and um, I think any more like video um, and photos, like like really like touched up, really like nice looking, you know, something for calendars, maybe like a regular web show, so that we can reach out to people not only um, live at our shows, but. Um, around the city, around people who don't have necessarily accessibility or the funds to make it to all of our shows, um, around the country to other courts and around the world. Um, yeah, and just involving ourselves maybe with um, increasing technologies uh, that make communication and fundraising um, better and better. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. As I close the big book of questions, I'm going to ask the candidates to do a final walk and leave the room to go change. My dear hosts, back to you. Thank you, Lady T. Thank you, candidates. And I didn't mention yet, the Lady T. You look stunning. I'm obsessed with that dress. Obsessed. I didn't ask for the incidental again.